Yep, another Palomar. At least this time it's a um, Palomar Skipper 300. Not a 300A. This is the uh, 300A's little brother. Uh, the Palomar 300A has two driving four. And this little uh, skipper here has one driving three. So, you know, smaller amp. Um, this one here has been modified. Actually, um, the power transformer had blown. So, it's got a new toroid transformer in it. Very clean, this one. Um, so, I think I'm going to keep this one. I may let this one go. This was my older one I had until I picked up this newer one and as you can see it's not in uh not in a great shape uh physically looks wise. A lot of surface rust and a few bumps and bruises, uh especially compared to this guy. This guy isn't perfect, but uh good enough. Very good. I like this one a lot. Cause I like clean and as you can see it's pretty clean and I am off yep so I'm gonna turn it over and show the insides of it um, one thing I wanted to show I was on a Facebook group and there's a guy that um, CB group that uh, says why you guys change the caps that's you know stupid to change the caps all the time well I'm going to just tell you my opinion. Um, I got this amp for cheap because, um, again, it was uh, blew up. And even though it's nice condition, it wasn't working, blew up. And what I found was um, everything's been replaced now. But you can see the burn mark here. And what happened was the um, original caps, high voltage cap, these green ones are the replacement, um, shorted. One of them shorted dead short and the short on the caps took out the um, power supply high voltage diodes there a couple of them and you can see that big burn mark there and when the diode shorted out it took out the power transformer originally it looked like that one the regular transformer in this one and um, since the transformer was bad and it was so clean other than you know the burn mark and what happened with the um, caps causing all that to cascade down um, I finally got around to putting in a new uh, toroid transformer and replaced the caps and the diodes and uh, tuned it up and everything's ready to go also if you notice this one has a circuit board uh, for the tube so this is a later model and over here this earlier model has a um, steel chassis or a steel plate no circuit boards and the um, components are mounted to uh, terminal strips so that's the high voltage for the um, older model those circuit boards and that's the high voltage for the um, newer model with the uh, components mounted on the circuit board and you can see the difference both good amps um, you know we like Palomar run good um, that's the uh, input circuit it's non tunable it's fixed so it's there it's just you can't tune it and high voltage and low voltage are on that board and the um, one board that uh, has all the tubes on it and that's pretty much it underneath and then on top you got the uh, one two driver tube over here and you got the um, tuning coil there tunes to driver and you got your three final tubes and your uh, tune and load over here for your um, three final tubes and the toy transformer the um, relays it's got uh, three relays it uses one for the preamp one to key up the uh, amp and the um, high voltage turn it on only when the amp is keyed 
And the third red, uh, relay is just the input and output. So this amp has three relays going on. So I guess we're about ready to turn it on. Nothing in the way. Hopefully we ain't sitting on nothing important. And uh, if we haven't knocked anything over, we um, should be all tuned up. Also, if you notice, these amps don't have a fan in them. Or at least I put one in this one. But this, uh, I put a little boxer fan in there. I may put one in this one because it runs hot. Um, I got a 4 watt radio going into it. Nothing special. I put it on standby right quick while it warmed up. And, um, well, there you go. About three and a half watts going into it. Hello, 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 hello. Talking to about eight. And that's all we got going into the amp. And uh, we're on the high side. Hopefully tuned up on a 200 watt scale. Audio. Dead key in 160. <whistles> Whistling about 200 just barely moving when we talk not a lot of swing especially on the high side it likes lower drive than what I'm putting into it and we're gonna put it on the 2000 watt scale and go to peak audio 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 top scale we're talking about uh, 300 <whistles> whistling a little bit under 3 audio audio and that's about what we doing got the watt meter here that input SWR on this amp fixed is still 1.5 1.6 that's pretty good I guess we'll put it on the low side right quick and go back to the 200 watt scale did can 70 instead of uh, what was it doing about 150 before Audio. Talking forward a little bit. It probably would um, like it a lot better if I hit it with that tram. Um, that tram is dead keen about one and swing it up. But anyway, that's going to be it on my keeper on this one, unless somebody makes me a crazy offer. Um, Palomar Skipper 300 probably um, do another video on this one pretty soon and uh, put this one up to sale because uh, I think I'm keeping that one. Alright, that's it for this one. Bye.